Guys, if you have a low C Super Baja Ray and you'd rather have an XT90 battery plug, here you go. This is printed by Christopher Lang and uh, it is pretty darn awesome. These plugs fit right in. Look at that. Set screws in place. Wow. Christopher done a great job on this. I'm going to be installing it into my Super Baja Ray. And I'm going to uh, show you guys how to get it done. So to install this battery plug holder, I'm going to pull the cab off. You got to sell it in with 12 screws. They use a 2 millimeter hex wrench. You can see right here, 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 here. I've already got the screws out. So we can go ahead and pull this up. And then you have the interior. Now to get the interior out, you take the screws out of these particular spots right here, out of both sides, and then you take this screw out, that screw out, out of both sides, and then that piece will flip forward. So with the screws out, you can flip this forward and actually get this out by just ex expanding uh, this right here, and it will come out of that spot. I had to use both hands, so there it is. It's out. And right there is some work that I had previously done to put some XT90s. If you saw that video, you notice I had to dremel the stock plug holder and the plugs themselves. So now I get to put brand new plugs on my ESC before I get to do this install. To remove your existing plug holder, you got to remove those two screws to the left and right of the plugs. And those use a 1.5 millimeter hex wrench. When you remove your stock ESC, or even this one, it takes a two millimeter hex wrench and there are three screws to remove. Simple, easy. When you get your ESC and your battery mount out, this is what it'll look like, or at least very similar. Yours will have blue battery plugs in it. Take those three screws off the top right there and they are 1.5 millimeter hex wrench. Here's the new plug holder put together. XT90s in place and locked down. You can't use this if you're going to use the top piece, which I chose to use the top piece. And I've got the set screws tightened in place. And if you're using the stock ESC, you won't have such a large wire. The 8 gauge wire is kind of a pain to get into the XT90 plug, but um, it shouldn't be an issue with the stock ESC at all. Anyway, it's time to put this back in the truck. This is it, fully installed from inside the truck. It looks really good. It went right in, no issues. This is what it looks like underneath the truck and it looks a whole lot better than what I did last time. So, and that uh, mutilation that you see up above the plugs, that was from me in my previous modification. Now you may or may not need to open up the opening in your chassis for this. I don't think you will, but be prepared if you happen to need to. Let's see if I can plug this in and remove it one-handed. Let's see here. Nice, tight. Comes out like it's supposed to. Let's try the other side. That is correct. I like it. I've got it back together and I've left the interior out to get some added cooling for the motor and the ESC. If you want to put the XT90 in your low C Super Baja Ray, this is the way to go. Christopher Lang prints these and ships these for 12 bucks in the continental United States. Absolutely worth it. I mean 12 bucks, bolt the thing in. I've done it the hard way and it's worth the money. Believe me. So get with him in the Losi Super Baja Ray group. And um, thank you guys for watching. And hopefully I'll have some more mods for this thing soon.